Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi everyone, it's your pal Amber here. Today, let's read a National Geographic Kids book about ponies. Do you know the difference between a pony and a horse? Let's find out. Are you ready? It's a pony. Ponies are special animals. They are beautiful and strong. They are kind and loyal. They like to be around people and other animals. <laughs> are you ready for a pony joke? Why couldn't the pony sing? Hmm, do you know the answer? Why couldn't the pony sing? <laughs> are you ready? Because its voice was a little hoarse. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> what is a pony? A pony is a kind of horse. So it is a horse. It's a kind of horse. Horses and ponies are measured in hands. Most pony breeds are 14.2 hands or shorter. <laughs> Hand equals about four inches. Unless it's your dad or your brother's hand, I don't know. Usually they have the hands bigger than four inches. Mine's pretty small, somewhere around four inches. <laughs> Let's see. Horse has long legs, a sleek body, and horses are tall. Ponies, on the other hand, a pony has short legs, wide body, and short. <laughs> a foal is born. It's springtime. A mare gives birth to a baby pony. The baby is called a foal. Welcome, little one. A foal can stand soon after birth. It is wobbly on its feet at first. That's pretty cool. A foal can stand soon after birth? It takes us about a year, huh? Hmm, that's different. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, and here's our pony word. Mare is a female horse. Do you see that in the horseshoe? Mare is a female horse. And a baby is a foal. A foal and its mom, the mare. <laughs> the foal will run and play before long. All ponies are called foals in the first year. Then, young female ponies are called fillies. Young male ponies are called colts. <laughs> are you ready for another joke? What did the pony say when it fell? Hmm, what did the pony say when it fell? I fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> I can't get up. I can't giddy up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> pony breeds. There are many kinds of ponies all over the world. Some pony breeds have been around for many, many years. Others are newer breeds. Oh, let's look at our pony word. Breed, a group of animals that have similar features and look alike. Hmm, here's some different kinds. A Dartmoor pony, those are black and white up there. Acetate pony, those are brown and white. Norwegian Fjord pony, Connemara pony, Exmoor pony, oh, and there's a foal with the mare. <laughs> and Section A Welsh Mountain Pony. That's a lot of different kinds of ponies. I bet there are even more than that. Colors and markings. Ponies come in lots of colors. They can have spotted coats too. Hmm. I see some spotted coats. Do you see them? Let's see, there's a Palomino. 
that looks like a tannish. Uh, spotted, bright bay, skewbald, that's funny. <laughs> that's brown with a whitish stripe in the middle. <laughs> funny name, skewbald. There's blue roan on the bottom. There's chestnut, dapple gray, and brown. Some ponies have white patches of hair. These are called markings. A pony's feet can have a sock or stocking. Do you see the sock? Do you see the stocking? Do you see how the stocking is higher up than the sock? <laughs> All right. A pony's head can have a blaze, a star, a snip, or a stripe. Blaze. That's the big white, one with the white nose. And then a star, what looks like a star on the forehead. That's cool, huh? The stripe right down the middle and the snip right around the mouth. <laughs> How cool, there's a little white around the eye too there. Wild ponies. There are still wild ponies today. A herd of wild ponies lives in Maryland and Virginia. USA. They are called the Chincoteague and Assateague ponies. Did I say that right? Let's see. Let's look in the orange. Chincoteague. So the CH isn't a CH sound. It's a CH sound. Chincoteague. And then we have Assateague. Assateague. <laughs> That's a fun word to say. All right. What's our pony word? Do you see it in the green with the horseshoe? Herd, a large group of animals that live together. A herd, like a family. The herd has been around for more than 500 years. That's a whole lot of years. <laughs> more than I've been around. Ooh, ready for a joke? What do you call a pony that lives next door? Hmm. What do you call a pony that lives next door? A neighbor. <laughs> because ponies neigh. <laughs> neighbor. That's a funny one. <laughs> Wild ponies are not given food or shelter. They run free. And our pony word is shelter. Shelter is a safe place that gives protection from bad weather. Hmm, so they don't have food or shelter given to them. They run free. They have to find their own. Hmm. Ponies in the past. Ponies in the past were used for work. Ponies pulled carriages around town. They carried people and things. Ponies also worked on farms, in the mountains, and in coal mines. Hmm. Do you see the pony drawn carriage up there? Mm-hmm. Or behind me. <laughs> Do you see the pony drawn carriage behind me? <laughs> and then there's also a coal mine pony. Hmm. Man, I bet ponies were hard workers, huh? Ponies today. Ponies today are still used for work, but mostly people ride and enjoy them. People ride ponies in shows and races. They ride ponies on trails. They even ride them on vacations. Hmm. Caring for a pony. Ponies make great pets, but they are a lot of work. Every day, a pony needs fresh food and water, exercise, brushing, and cleaning. That's a lot of work, huh? And ponies might be smaller than horses, but they're still pretty darn big. Hmm. Do you think you could take care of a pony? You'd have to have a lot of space for them, I think. Riding. The work is done. Now it's time to ride. You will need special clothes. The clothes protect you and the pony. Jodhpurs. Hmm. Say jodhpurs. Jodhpurs. 
<laughs> you also need gloves, riding boots, and then there it is, the riding pants are called jodhpurs. Let's say it again together. Jodhpurs, riding pants, and then also a riding helmet. Then you can both enjoy the ride. That's cool, that looks like fun. Have you ever ridden a pony before? If you haven't, maybe someday you'll get to. I haven't rode a pony in a very, very long time. But what, the one time I did, it was a lot of fun. Ponies are really sweet. They're beautiful animals. Thanks for learning more about them with me. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Make sure you hit the big red subscribe button on our main page and don't forget to check out all of our other great stories. See you next time.